Hello my spooky friends and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it has been a very long time. I needed that break so much and I'm feeling better than ever and back to doing what I do and what I love. So I wanted to just do a little catch up before I get into the makeup look. So where I've been, I took a long time off for mental health. I really wanted to make sure that I didn't get burnt out and get to a point where you feel really uninspired and then just doesn't feel uh, inspirational in any way, shape, or form or like inspiration to do makeup in any way. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm going to be doing a series, hopefully going to be consistent with it. <laughs> Um, it's going to be going from, um, September, uh, 22nd, which is the first day of fall, all the way up until Halloween. And I'm going to hopefully be doing a look every week that is going to be, um, a spooky makeup look that is going to be, like, a casual Halloween look. Or if you're anything like me and you just love themed outfits and themed makeup looks to go with your outfits. <laughs> I'm going to be making a playlist um, with uh, previous looks that I've done as well that could incredibly coordinate with the whole um, coordinate with the whole series. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's look. It is the first day of fall and what inspired me today is something I did not expect to inspire me, but it did. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, foundation is on, primed, prepped, ready to go. This is the palette that I'm going to be mainly using just because this is all of the neutral colors that I actually really have. And it has the um, like brick orange that I want to use for this colors. Anyway, so I'm just going to be taking a brown here. This is my transition shade. It's a lighter brown color. And then I'm going to be taking a shade darker and I'm going to be adding some more depth to my eyes. And yeah, it, it's pretty simple. You just blend, 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 blend with this. It's, um, I've noticed with like very neutral colored shades of a quote unquote smoky eye, it's very simple. You can't really go wrong with them. Literally, it's just only four shades that I used on my lid, which is just um, not taking the darker brown shade and then blending it in. So it just adds some more depth to it. <laughs> and I'll just cut myself off, but that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, um, now I'm going to be taking a lighter shade and just putting that on my eye. And now I'm taking that brick orange that I was telling you about, that kind of burnt orange. I love this shade of orange. I wish it was a little bit brighter. Well, I had a wish I I wish I had a brighter one, <laughs> but this works just fine. And I'm just putting this underneath my eyes. Don't worry, it's gonna look crazy for now. Uh, you know how it is. Trust the process. <laughs> Now I am taking a beautiful neon yellow and I'm putting that in my inner corners um, just because Sam has some yellow in his onesie and I really wanted to tie all the colors together. And then I took these two oranges from this Take Me Back to Brazil palette because it had some shimmer to it and it was on my cheek where I was going to put highlight anyways and I just used it to blend in all of the orange. Okay, using the same brush from before, I'm blending everything all together. And then in this clip is just showing them what I've done so far. And then look at that, magical wings. And now I'm adding the stitchings like Sam has on his outfit. And then here I am outlining his sucker. Now, I'm not going to give too much detail about the sucker. Just because in case you guys haven't seen the movie... Uh, long story short, it's kind of a weapon. I'm not going to show you or tell you how, just because I don't want to spoil too much. But yeah, um, I'm basically using, I used a, a light brown, uh, basically the same color that I use <laughs> for my contour. <laughs> Perfect timing me <laughs> to outline it. That way it blends in a lot better. And then I'm just filling it all in with the orange since I got the shape that I liked. And yeah.
Okay, so now comes the outlining. Take your time with this. Do not rush it. You can always fix it, but it, you could take the makeup off underneath. Um, take your time. Patience is a virtue. I enjoy doing this. I kind of wish that I did it a little bit better, but I loved how the sucker came out nonetheless for my first time drawing his sucker. It was so cute. I kind of messed up a little bit on the smile on the jack-o'-lantern, um, but you could always just fix it. Just make sure that, like, your reference picture, make sure you look at it very, very well. Um, but you'll see how I fix it in the end. I make it to where the the ridges for the jack-o'-lantern face actually looks like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Thanks, Dyslexia, for kicking in at that one time. <laughs> And because I couldn't help myself, I used some red lipstick and I added a little bit of fake gore, some fake blood. And I really like how it turned out. It was very, like, spur of the moment, like, just the makeup took over and I am really happy with how it turned out. So next I'm going to be taking some shades of brown and just kind of putting that over the stitching because the stitching on his mask is not black. It, it's those colors. And now I'm just doing some highlight because, I mean, I love to highlight everything and I want to be able to have somebody see me from space just in case, you know, they want to come to Earth. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Even though I don't have brows, don't forget to highlight your brow bone. It is a must. And don't forget the inner corners. Make sure that you can like really get in there very well. Oh, didn't really care for that black lipstick. I kind of went in with a matter black lipstick and then I really felt like this makeup was lacking something and I was like, duh, candy is trick or treat. So I just decided to draw in some like cartoon-ish like candy and then I just basically used the same colors that I used which is orange and yellow, just to fill in the candy and kind of like do the, the dottings and everything like that. I, again, just kind of let the makeup take over and again, really enjoyed how this turned out. It really pulls the look all together. This is the finished look. I love how it turned out. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's enjoy our spooky season. <laughs> As always, I will have my link tree down below, which has my Amazon wish list connected to it, just in case you guys want to send me something. And I also have my Cash App connected to it, in case you guys want to support me that way. And as always, don't forget to live your lives for yourselves, do all things with kindness, and forever stay spooky, my friends. Bye! And stick to Halloween traditions before Sam comes and gets you. I just wanted to say, guys, don't forget to like this video and comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. You liking this video really lets me know that you guys are excited for this series just as much as I am. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye.